Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. Today we are going to solve a question of real analysis from NBHM PhD exam 2020. The question is from the topic sum of infinite series. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, for each of the following series, write convergent or divergent in the box as the case may be. Part A summation n is greater than or equal to 2 1 upon n log n part b summation n greater than or equal to 2 log square n divided by n square part c summation n is greater than or equal to 2 1 upon n log square n part d summation n is greater than or equal to 2 square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n divided by n the following results are very useful to learn in order to solve the question Result number 1. A series of the forms summation 1 upon n to the power p is known as p series. The series is convergent if p is greater than 1 and otherwise divergent. Result number 2. Consider two series summation a n and summation b n with a n comma b n is greater than or equal to 0 for all n and a n is less than or equal to b n for all n then Point number 1. If summation bn is convergent, then so is summation an. Point number 2. If summation an is divergent, then so is summation bn. Result number 3. Consider this series summation n greater than or equal to 2, 1 upon n to the power alpha log n to the power beta, where alpha and beta are real number, and this series is known as Bartrand series. Point number 1. If alpha is greater than 1, the series converges regardless of the value of beta. Point number 2. If alpha is less than 1, then the series diverges regardless of the value of beta. Point number 3. If alpha equal to 1, then the series converges if and only if value of beta is greater than 1. Part A. Given series is summation n is greater than or equal to 2, 1 upon n log n. Compare with the Bartrand series. We have alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to 1. This implies the given series is divergent. Hence, series in part A is divergent. Part B, the series is summation n greater than or equal to 2 log square n by n square, which is equal to summation n greater than or equal to 2 1 upon n square log of n to the power minus 2. Compare with the Bartrand series. We have alpha equal to 2 and beta equal to minus 2. Implies the given series is convergent. Hence, series in part B is convergent. Part C, the series is summation n greater than or equal to 2, 1 upon n log square n. Compare with the Bartrand series. We have alpha equal to 1 and beta equal to 2. This implies the given series is convergent. Hence, the series in part C is convergent. Part D, the series is summation n greater than or equal to 2 square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n divided by n. Now, rationalize it. We have summation n greater than or equal to 2 square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n divided by n into square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n divided by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. After simplification, we have summation n greater than or equal to 2 1 upon n into square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. Taking square root n common, we have summation n is greater than or equal to 2 1 upon n to the power 3 by 2 into square root of 1 plus 1 by n plus 1. Let it represent it a n. Take the series bn which is equal to summation n greater than or equal to 2 1 upon n to the power 3 by 2. This implies the summation n greater than or equal to 2 an is less than or equal to summation n greater than or equal to 2 bn. Now by using p series test the series summation n greater than or equal to 2 bn is convergent. This implies summation n greater than or equal to 2 an is convergent. Hence series in part d is convergent. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel.
If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.